Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. Going to be making a keto flatbread. Gorgeous. Hello, in this video I'll be making another low carb uh, alternative to a flatbread this time using coconut flour and this stuff, psyllium husk, if I've said that right because it's spelt with a P but it's obviously silent. But this book, I bought this recently, um, I love this guy, he's a really good bloke, Tom Kerridge. Um, and if you saw what he looked like a few years ago and what he looks like now, the diet has really worked for him, so let's hope it works for me. Um, and so let's make some flatbread alternative and I think you're going to really like this one. Alright, so into a bowl, the coconut flour followed by the psyllium husk powder, baking powder and salt. Give that a little whisk to get it all mixed up nicely. That is unsalted butter. Bring that up to a heat and we're gonna get some brown nutty butter or beurre noisette as my friend Pierre would say. And you're gonna heat it over a low heat. Don't rush this. And you see that as after a couple of minutes it gets all foamy and you can see me wafting the smell. It's all nutty, it's wonderful. But get it quickly into the flowers, otherwise it will overcook and burn and it'll be nasty and you throw it away and start again. And at the end of that, that mixture there, that sort of crumbly mixture was like digestive biscuits, the smell is absolutely wonderful. So I boiled the kettle, put in some boiling water and it looks like that might be a bit too much to Uncle Matt, but no, it's really super absorbent, this coconut flour. So just, you know, stir that wooden spoon, a minute or two, and you've got a, you have a dough. It's warm, it's, you can handle it, it's nice. And uh, it's time to just form this into, well, it doesn't matter what shape you're going to form it into, but I want to cut this into six even pieces. They might be a bit small, perhaps you would cut that into four. It's up to you. Uh, once you've got them cut, keep them... Uh, so then don't go dry under some cling film. Got some bits of baking parchment scrunched up. Yeah, I like to do that. And rolling it out. And I thought, well, I'll start off by rolling it like kind of like a pita bread shape. You can see that I was going for there. A little bit longer, perhaps. The thickness is completely up to you. And the size, you could go a bit thicker than I did. Maybe don't go thinner than I did. And uh, there you go. One done. Right. On a plate or wherever, on a side, and keep that covered. i just got a clean tea towel. And while you keep going, now this is a way to get a more round one. You do one roll and a little turn, roll, little turn, roll, little turn, etc. Just keep it moving and turning and rolling, and you end up with something a bit more round, like so. There we go. So, that's all my uh, flatbreads rolled out. Time to cook them, and meanwhile, while I was doing that, I had my cast iron skillet pan over a low to medium heat for a, you know, a while to make sure it's all hot. I didn't need any oil, but if you want to brush yours with a bit of oil, I won't tell anyone, it'll be fine if you're worried. And if you don't have a cast iron pan, a the heaviest sort of good quality frying pan you have. A minute or so on each side, keep moving it and turning it, and you, you know, when you're happy, when you think it's, it's done, that took about two to three minutes. And there's the more round one. That looks, yeah, that looks nicer, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. So, while keeping them covered, like so, show you, flexible, you could use them immediately, but I was going to wait a little while, so rather than let them dry out, cover them with cling film, that'll keep them soft. And this is some lamb loin that I had marinated the previous day with a bit of rosemary and olive oil, salt and pepper, and I thought this is going to make a lovely bit of kebab to go inside my flatbread, so pop that onto a skewer like so, and I'm going to get that really charred in my char grill pan, brush it with a bit of oil as it's going. I, is your mouth watering yet? Mine is. I know how nice this tasted as well. So there we go, I've got them ready. Flatbread, nice and flexible. That's a bit of chilli mayo, that's a bit of sauerkraut, but obviously you know you, you do yours how you like them. But I've got a bit of crunchy lettuce on top of that lamb and a bit more chilli mayo, and look, a wrap. And this was going to be my thumbnail, but it's out of focus. I'm so upset with myself. But anyway, I'm going to take a whacking great big bite of that, and I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting. Mm. So, flatbreads. They're very, very nice. Obviously, it's what you put in the flatbread, really, isn't it, that makes the dish, but it's just nice to have something to wrap it up in. Um, these taste nice there is they taste slightly different um, that's going to be to do with the psyllium husk I would assume and um, I would also say they're not 
as tough as a usual wrap, you know. And we haven't got those glutens in there holding this thing together. So, you know, when you are working with them, be delicate. But that's delicious. Really, really lovely. And I heartily recommend if you, certainly if you want on low carbs, give those a try. I think you'll really like them. That's why you're here. Thank you to everyone that's watching this video. These new videos I'm doing seem to be getting more recommendations from YouTube. So thank you, YouTube. Thank you very much for doing, for recommending these videos. So if you're here watching me, especially for the first time, I have you welcome. Please like or comment or subscribe or share. Apparently sharing is the way you can help the channels the most. So, you know, anyway, any of those things, I'll be so grateful to you. And I'll catch you pretty soon. Bye. Nah,